So today's video, as you guys can see from the title, Big Chop Time. I'm back on my natural hair journey for the third time. But this time, guys, is a little bit different. So we're going to get into all of that really soon. I did a kind of vlog, you know, me going to the salon, getting it done, etc. So that is coming up soon. Also, you guys have to continue looking because I'm doing a giveaway at the end of this video. We do a giveaway for hitting 3,000 subscribers, I think, in under two months or something like that so that was totally fun guys that was really cool and i could not have done that without you guys so yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and giveaway day is finally here so keep on looking if you're really new here and this is the first video you're watching from me my name is tequila joseph this brand that i'm wearing is a brand called tequila the brand which is me i am tequila tequila is me the brand is me so guys we have these jerseys on sale follow me on instagram at tequila limited follow me also on my personal slash quote instagram at tequila joseph follow me on my two pages guys stay connected let's stay connected become a part of the notification gang by clicking that bell right next to subscribe so if you're new here what i want you to do for me is go right down here Click subscribe next to subscribe you'll see a bell put that bell on that is how you become a part of the notification guys so guys let's get into our little outing that we had while I was on my way to do my picture let's go um you all know I've been thinking about cutting my hair for a while while doing a big chop the reason why I'm doing the big chop which I will probably explain this after is because um I just really feel like I'm at a place where I really want to enjoy my natural hair. Usually I would be natural, but I would always cut it because it's like, it's just too hard to explain. So it's like, I want relaxed hair because I want straight hair because I think that's easier to deal with. But then when I get it, it's like my hair is not really um, healthy when it's, when it's relaxed. So then I always end up going back natural. So the first time I went natural, I mean, I, I relaxed, was in secondary school. And then the first time I cut was probably like four years ago, right? So, but today I'm going to do a big chop. And my hair was relaxed. It, okay, so my hair was going back from a cut. And then I relaxed it and I used to do like push waves. And then I gave Melanie's hair. So, so tell him I would tell her and see you whenever you're good. Yes, girl. Oh yes, I have to come, Melanie, my face. Yes, so. girl. I was saying I'm good. I can do it speedy, but I'm saying it's real close. So guys, I'm here at my friend's salon and I'm going to take my hair cool. off. Right, this is Kimberly to the top here. <laughs> but right, so as I was telling Kimberly, I don't know, I don't know if I you see, it's madness going on here. I don't know if... We have some growth though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I thought I would not get this nice highness to the top. All I wanted to get was a little bit of height here. And just like nice, like... Yeah. You know, like a soft woman cut. Nothing too manny, you know. Yeah. Something that would be nice and stuff. Back off your dad. Yeah. Journey. So like, I thought when I took all the braids, because I didn't wash it, I just took all the braids, right? Should mm -hmm. I have washed it? No, it's fine. Yeah, so I just took all the braids and I was thinking like, oh, well, you know, most of my hair looking natural, but in truth, in fact, I put this in one for some days and then I started to see the straightness at the end. Yeah. So yeah, guys, this is where we at. So we took off all the straight ends and we're about to wash it and see what's going on. What is you know what is my curl pattern looking like? Usually my curl pattern is really good, but I don't know how it is now. So let's see. My hair is like completely off. You know, and my curl pattern is still really, really good. Can really give me a really nice wash? Can really tell them what you give me? So I did a scalp revitalize and wash on her because her scalp was really, really dry and flaky, so I did a scalp revitalizing one and then I did a, um, a shampoo water that would have brought back her hair to its just 
moisturize it, give it the moisture it needed, and a conditioner that has strengthening oils in it. So you see how nice and juicy her curls are looking? I wonder if they could see. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. So right now I'm just applying her yeah. gel to lock in that moisture here. And you can okay. see Takeda. Right now I'm using main choice. Yeah. Okay. That's a good gel. Really good gel. I like okay. it. Right. Mm -hmm. So you put a leave-in conditioner in her hair a while ago. So this gel will give it. This water is going to pop these babies and make these curls look luscious. So do you think that you? You should um, leave the curl to dry naturally or do like a um, infuser or like uh, something. You could, well, it depends. The diffuser is there for people that don't have the time to wait, wait for it to, it to, dry. to dry naturally. But yeah. having that hair, teach, it's always important to teach a hair how to retain moisture. And one of a very, very good way to learn, to teach a hair to do that is by having let that hair naturally dry. Your hair will take the, the moisture it needs from that water slowly. It's like it's it, it learning how to digest the yeah. nutrition. Yeah. Right? So that's what you're teaching your hair to do. Right. Oh, look how, look how nice. So I, nice, right? I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I don't know why I'm acting like I was so afraid to do this, guys, but uh, my hair have been short so many times. I don't know. Yes, I don't and look know how what's good happening. Yeah. She looks so good. And as soon as I laid all these edges and I beat this face. Honey. Hello. Okay. okay. I call it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what my hair is after. Yeah. As you guys can see, my t shirt yeah, is sticking in the back and sticking in the front. That's going right over here. Ooh, yes. So, guys, this is where we at. This is where we at. This is where we at. Right? So, I brought my makeup kit because I thought that I would have needed makeup, but. I feel so good. I just don't even want to put on makeup right now. Yeah. So Kim totally hooked me up. I'm gonna leave her Instagram page in the description box for you guys to hit her. I come. I am um, chopped off my hair yesterday. I did my big chop yesterday, and Kimberly, my hairdresser, used um the as I am leave-in conditioner. So basically, she conditioned my hair. She shampoo and conditioned it, and she leave the conditioner in it when my hair was wet and i would link it up here i saw it at pennywise yesterday but i didn't really but they had a deal two for 99 dollars and i don't know if i would have really liked it so i decided to sleep on it see how i wake up with my hair feeling and then i would go back for it or not but i woke up and my hair is feeling so nice and moisturized um so i guess it really worked but i don't know if that really worked or this really worked because she didn't use a hard gel in my hair because the problem I had with my natural hair before is that when I use regular gel, my hair will just stay hard for the entire day and I didn't like that at all. So she used this main choice crystal orchid by its an infused styling gel in my hair. And usually when gels are creamy and not really jelly, I have a problem with it. But listen to me, she used it yesterday alone and my hair feels really good. So I so this is me waking up from from um my uh, big chop yesterday i slept with a silk head tie because i can't find my silk clap so i have to go back and see if i get a silk clap but um so i just woke up and this is how my hair is and the products i used was the as i am leaving condition which i will have to go back and get at pennywise because i think i like it and I love this for sure because it gets the curls defined, but it doesn't leave your hair hard. So my hair is still very soft and the curls are popping, right? So this is me before the whole transformation happens. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. So as you guys can see from the video, I was feeling so good when I was finished doing my big job. My friend Kimberly, she's a hairdresser, so I'm going to tag her at Kimmel's. So amazing. She does hair, but she's not just a regular hairdresser. She's really educated about hair. So this, so this is why I love her so much. Um, but guys, let me just tell you all a little bit about my hair journey. Because I was trying to explain it to the car, but like we was all over the place. So basically, I cut my hair for the first time in 2016. But besides that, I grew up seeing my grandmother on my father's side who i look just like i have her hair i have her shape everything like that i grew up seeing her with her hair just like this 
right? So the first time I cut my hair in 2016, I did it because that whole Amber Rose thing was good and I was like, I wonder how I would look with that. So the idea was really, I'm gonna link a picture up here or up here. The idea was really to cut it and like cut it down and dye it like blonde and stuff. But I cut it and I really didn't do anything with it because I was like in the black look. It was the first time I saw myself with short hair. I think that picture that I post up was the second day. That was the day after I cut my hair for the first time in 2016 and i was just loving it as you guys can see the picture that is when i like now moved in my first makeup salon and stuff like that so that was good and i cut my hair then because i just really wanted it for style and i thought it would have looked better but even previous to that before that i relaxed my hair when i was about 15 in secondary school um, I relaxed it because I was just tired of going around with the fro, you know. I had this fro, so my hair used to be all the way back here with like a fro in the back, and I was just so tired of the fro, you know. And like you're watching TV and you're thinking that straight hair is better and maybe you'll look better. So I went and I relaxed my hair. I remember one boy in school, <laughs> his name was um Nakosi, and Nakosi he was like. Yeah, I can't believe you relax your hair the next day I went to school. He was like, I cannot believe you did your hair. Him, I would not carry you home to my mother anymore because he was so in love with my hair and my waves and my curls and everything like that, right? So the first time I relaxed my hair, it was really healthy, it was really good. Then after that, I started to weave my hair a lot, weave and braids. And within doing the weaves and the braids, it just kind of went back natural. I had my whole party in phase. So I used to do a lot of weaves, a lot of braids when I used to party. So basically my hair was like half natural, half relaxed. You know, you would just leave that relaxed piece here to the side. So basically that was going on with my hair then. Then in 2016, I chopped it off, right? Cause by that time I had like most natural and just, you know, relaxed parts. You know here and there so in 2016 i chopped it off i was you know this whole amber rose inspired thing and then i just stopped cutting it and then i let it grow until 2018 so for about two years i grew my hair and i'm gonna leave pictures here to show you guys how it was looking when it was growing it was growing so good right then i decided to cut my hair again so i had to walk in my friend wedding so i really couldn't do it because in 2018 on my birthday i wanted to chop off my hair but my friend's wedding was i think the day after my birthday and i had to be a bridesmaid so i said no i wouldn't chop it off because she wanted our hair a certain way and you know me i think if it's not your wedding you can't tell somebody how you want to comb your hair you have to do what they want you to do so i cut my hair i think i'll link a picture up here of me for my friend's wedding and that was at the second to last day of me having my hair it was so amazing guys but and then i and then i went by crew cuts and i cut my hair on june the 12th so on june the 12th 2018 yes that's the day june the 12th 2018 i went by crew cuts and i cut my hair this is the cut guys this is the cut that everybody was raving about this is the cut that everybody loved so this was like my real first cut i mean it was my second one but it was the first one that i was actually feeling but what i should have done or maybe i should not have done that was relax my hair before i cut it so basically i cut my hair and my friend kimberly would color it white blonde gray i would try to just pop in pictures for you guys so i just had a long hair journey but during all of that time I would never really appreciate my hair. I never appreciated my hair. I would have my hair natural. Even with any two years that I grew my hair out, right? I would never go out with my hair though. I would always put on a wig or I would put on a weave or I would put on a braids. Not saying that anything is wrong with that because I love to change my look as I told you guys. But I was doing it for the complete wrong reasons. I thought that my hair wasn't like fitted enough to go out with i thought that you know like it wasn't pretty enough like it wasn't neat enough because i because i love to look neat you know Every time i would go out i would just put on a wig or i would just braid my hair and i never really appreciated my hair so now i said i wanted to relax my hair right so this time it's short you know it was cut that was the second cut in 2018 the one that crew cuts did and that one started to grow so i was constantly cutting it for about four to five six months and then after i stopped cutting it 
then i went to do my hair course by leah the hair goddess right leah is so amazing also and i did me and leah just sit down so my hair had actually reached about a little higher than this right and i did me and leah just sit down and we say that we relax it and then i was you know rocking some push waves and stuff like that and i was rocking a pixie cut so i basically did so much things with my hair and then after I rocked that pixie cut, I decided that I wanted to do tracks. So I would do tracks and you know middle part and I would do tracks and people wouldn't even know if it's mine or not. But I just thought that I wanted a neat look so relaxed here would have been better. But this cut guys, when I was finished with this cut, I felt so amazing. I wanted to cry. Ask my friend Kimberly. No, you all can ask her. You all don't know her. But I, but because I think during quarantine i went through a time where i will where it is god was just teaching me to appreciate every single part of me where he was teaching me that you know i am fearfully and wonderfully made you understand and everything that he did towards me and on me and everything that he created me with he did it with full intention and here i am not appreciating the hair that god gave me you understand what i mean and I wasn't even conscious about the fact that I didn't appreciate it. I just, I like I just used to say, I just don't find this look unfinished. When you go to your natural hair, it is just look unfinished, you know? But God really transformed my mind. And now this is what grows. This is what grows. This is, this is my hair. This is me. If you cannot accept this, move along. This is how I feel. I'm going to work with it. I'm going anywhere with it. I am this is my hair, this is me. I'm not saying that I'm never gonna wear a braid, I'm never gonna wear a wig, I'm never gonna wear a weave, because I love those things. I love my wigs, I love my weaves, but when I wear my natural hair, I'm doing it with confidence, and now I know how important my hair is to me, and how important my hair is, because God chose me, and when he chose me, he gave me this hair, and he knew why he did that so how can i not appreciate and not love that right so in a sense i felt like for so much years i was just being ungrateful you know you know and i really just didn't want to do that so this time everything about me and everything about this cut was different i'm so confident within my body and all within my face within my eyes within the you know like my nose because i really didn't like my nose so when i finished this cut and i look at myself i was just like girl you are so beautiful and you didn't even know this morning when i was going to tape this video because i have a mirror in front of me and i look down in the mirror no makeup i said tequila you are so beautiful and you never even know i remember growing up and i said to my mother constantly i'm not pretty i'm not pretty because i don't know why like i don't know where we just learn these things if it's from on tv if it's from on i don't know but i just thought i was not pretty at all and guys a lot of you probably in the same position and the only way to get out of that is really to ask god to transform your mind from the inside out to transform you from the inside out i started to pray every night god help me to see myself the way you see me because i know that when i put on makeup i'm pretty when i dress up i'm pretty but i would never feel good in my natural hair i would always feel like it unfinished right and i am um, i i you know i just started praying god really helped me to see myself the way you see me because a lot of our black sisters a lot of our black girls a lot of our black kids they don't like their hair and it's because people calling them niggery head i know your head hard so i don't know no 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 fearfully and wonderfully made in god's image and his likeness uniquely uniquely i now i am not against relaxed hair i think that some people are mom some people they can't you know like they can't take care of it if you cannot take care of it no problem relax it. i am not against relaxer what i am against is you using relaxers for the wrong reason you're thinking that you you know like you're fitting more with straight hair you look better with straight hair negative 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 right but I'm not saying that I would never wear a weave. I love weave. I love wigs. I love those things. That is who I am. That is part of me, right? I am a creative. I love seeing, you know, different styles. And like, I would change my nail color all the time because I love to see different colors. But I'm saying we have to be able to appreciate everything that God gave us. We have to be able to have proper motive behind everything that we are doing guys motive is so important and this time i felt like i cut my hair i am did my big job and i had the right motive behind it and i really just 
so confident like in my skin and in my hair and in myself like i don't even care who do accept me the way i am once god accepts me and once i know that i am seeing myself the way god sees me and guys that prayer works so much i was praying that prayer and every morning i was feeling so different when i look at myself i started seeing things i never see before in my life guys and i want you guys to ask god to see yourself the way he sees you know that you are all faithful and wonderfully made god made you with intent god made you with purpose god made you the way he made you for a reason and tap into that tap into that guys so today we are starting my new year journey 2020 big chop year journey guys i don't know if this is going to be perfect i don't know i don't know really what this is about because this time i'm taking it from a different angle what we're going to do i still have to do research as to what to use and what stuff you know would work best for me but this morning i just put some carol daughter oil in my hair and the um cool gel i showed you guys so i'm still you know trying to figure stuff out and guys we're gonna do this together if you have started your journey here 2020 also or if you're thinking about starting your journey guys leave a comment leave a comment and within those comments that is how we we would be picking our winner for the giveaway right guys so i want you guys to go down in the comments tell me if you ever struggle with your natural hair how you feel about it when it is you gained a new perspective you know what i mean if you're thinking about doing a um doing a big chop how you feel you know how it is you feel for your hair right and even just tell me you know like give me little advice of what i could use and what i could do guys i remember i'm not against relaxer i am not i'm against using relaxer for the wrong reasons that is what i'm against so the giveaway is we're giving away a morphe palette i think the name of it is starlight we're giving a we are giving away relationship intelligence by darius daniel and we're giving away a tequila j jersey so guys I want you guys to go down in the comments leave your comments guys we're gonna be doing a random draw leave your comments let me know about your natural hair journey let me know you know if it is god was working on you with this situation whereas your hair your body is concerned you know guys let's just have a field in the comments and i'm going to be reading and replying to every single one of them right guys because this is a really important topic so guys remember to like comment and subscribe share with your friends on instagram share on facebook guys follow me on facebook follow me on instagram facebook is tequila the brand right um instagram tequila limited and tequila dot joseph guys i hope this video was really fun and informative remember to leave your comments we're going to pick a winner in the next youtube video so guys i'm so excited get down there leave your comments i'm excited to read it i'm excited to just see what your heart is saying what you guys are saying i love you guys bye bye have a good week <laughs>